Greetings. This is 0513. If you're watching this briefing, you have been asked to learn about SCP-001. Let's begin. Item Number SCP-001 Object Class Unnecessary Special Containment Procedures SCP-001 does not need to be contained. In the event of SCP-001 occurring, all personnel, including D-Class, are to be honorably discharged and may do what they wish with their remaining time. All sapient and non-aggressive SCPs are to be released. Any further SCPs which can be decommissioned are to be. All remaining Foundation sites are to be run by the Artificial Intelligence Systems. Specifically bred instances of SCP-514 are to be released globally. Description SCP-001 refers to an event occurring shortly before the cessation of all life on Earth. Whilst SCP-001 has not yet taken place, it was discovered through various pieces of information gathered from extra-universal foundations and other similar groups. See attached document 001-A for a list of such communications. It is important to note SCP-001 is not the cause of the apocalyptic scenario, merely a pre-occurrence response to it. SCP-001 is, according to records, distinctively recognized by certain key features. During an SCP-001 event, flowers are observed to spontaneously appear and bloom over approximately 90% of the viable land surface of the planet. These flowers are universally referred to as vibrant, bright, beautiful, and or words to this effect. The weather will clear, globally, with an ambient temperature recognized as comfortable by the majority of the populace. Air pollution will additionally clear. During an SCP-001 event, the global populace will become aware of the fate of the Earth and of its inevitability. They will also experience heavily decreased levels of violence. SCP-001 will occur exactly 24 hours before the death of all life on the planet. This concludes today's briefing. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell using your encrypted YouTube account. And support the broadcast at patreon.com site 42.